Hey guys, Nathan here from iMaker, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your 5th gen MakerBot printer. In this video, I will be showing you how to attach the smart extruder, level the print bed, insert the print material, and set off a test print. This is the 5th generation MakerBot smart extruder. It attaches to the printer magnetically by simply aligning the golden contact pins with the matching terminals and the extruder shaft with the matching slot, like so. The build plate slides into the front of the build tray, like so, making sure that the plate is flush all the way around and at the front of the machine. To plug in the machine, take your power cable and simply push into the back of the machine like so. Now the build plate and extruder are installed, we can turn on the machine. Simply flick the switch on the back of the machine. The machine will now boot up and this may take a few moments. Now that the machine has finished loading up, we can level the build plate. To do this, simply move to the utilities menu and click. Then simply click again to select level build plate. Assisted leveling will check your build plate and prompt you to make any adjustments. Click to select start assisted leveling. The machine will first find a home position. This may take a few moments. Using the knobs located underneath the print bed, turn these clockwise or anti-clockwise as instructed on the display. Stop turning the knob when the LED on the extruder turns on. Once the LED illuminates, click continue on the screen. The head will now move to another location. Now that this second point is also calibrated, click continue. This concludes the leveling process and the bed is now level. The next step will be to load material into the fifth gen printer. Press the button and lift the spool tray until it locks into its upright position. Take your MakerBot filament that comes with the machine. Orient the filament spool so that the material is coming from the bottom of the spool. Place this onto the central spindle like so. Now simply push the filament into the guide tube. Now manually feeding the filament spool around until the filament comes out of the other end of the guide tube. Making sure to hold onto the top of the spool tray, press the, the button and slowly lower down the spool tray. Now simply select filament, click, highlight load filament and then click again. The machine will now begin heating for material insertion. Now that the printer is at temperature, the extruder motor has begun turning. Pull through slightly more material out of the guide tube and insert into the hole in the top of the extruder like so. The printer will now begin pulling through the material once you can see material extruding out of the nozzle. You can click continue. This is the end of the loading process. To set off a print, 
click print, then in this case, go to internal storage, then examples, and select chain links. You can see various information about the print before setting it off. But to set it off, click print. The printer will now heat the extruder and check everything is in the right place. So it's that simple. Once your print finishes and you've peeled off the raft, you'll get something that looks like this. Just a fully interlocked chain, fully functional, straight off the print bed. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll bring you more to do with the world of 3D printing. Have a good day, guys.